Abigail and Liberty were excited to attend a week-long surf camp with Texas Surf Camps, where they gained new skills and confidence in the water. They loved it so much we decided to purchase a board of our own and then the girls were gifted a board so that they could each have one to use. What do you think? She scared to death? What? I'll take home and get a treat. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to use now to go surfing. Okay. And then you. And then me. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. No, it's warm that. outside though. Yeah. Not looking forward to that. We are trying to get ready to go to the boat this morning. The girls are <laughs> slow getting ready to <laughs> We are gonna head out and do a couple of things. Yeah. They're gonna do chores and schoolwork, <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and pick them up. Let's go. Alright, I still have to find my other shoe. This one? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of a mess around here. This is kind of the disaster of coming home really late from the beach and just going to bed. Be ready when we come pick you up. No. Wait, why are you picking us up? To come help? No. It's been brutally warm here in Texas and the girls don't like working in the heat. Oh my heck, dear, it's a mess in here. Todd's been doing construction. He's made a giant mess in this car. Okay. The car is a wreck. We've turned the boat around to enable us to more easily install our solar arch. The water looks like it's up a little from where it was. It is. So it's super shallow right here. We were hoping to be able to pull the boat back, but our rudder and keel are too. 7.1 feet. We have four feet under the keel up front. So it's only about six inches higher than it was the other day. We've got some shades. Feel like it makes any difference? Yeah, a little bit. It's not too bad. I mean, I just threw it up really fast. I'm sure we could find a better way to do it, but. I don't know, that looks good. One of these days we'll actually get to using this boat for what it's supposed to be for. Okay, well, there's nowhere to sit. Well, we gotta sit out there. We gotta build a frame. All the pieces are in here, and they have to come out. This is going down. What are the chances we could have this place cleaned back up again? We can do anything we want. We just won't be working on something else if we do that. Take these out one at a time, just bring them out into this space. We're gonna have to take them all out there. So probably ought to just pull them all into the cockpit for now. We purchased this kit from Fish on Sports. It's called the Sir Admiral Uni. We also purchased their dinghy dab system to raise our dinghy when at anchor. They were great to work with and helped us customize this arch for our unique needs. and 9.16. So, I need a leg. Alright. 
Yeah, I think we probably need the instructions too. We might be able to figure it out without them. I'm not sure where they are. Do you know where the instructions are, dear? The bathroom. In a box on the settee. I don't know. So we are going to be roughly. Bring my water. The heat index was 109 degrees Fahrenheit, and we were struggling to stay hydrated. There is some flexibility because they're not tight. We will be adding a frame to the top of this arch that will hold some of our solar panels. This is an important piece of hardware to make our cruising life sustainable. Alright, it says go 50 feet away and look how level it looks. Not to use a level to install it, which is totally beyond Todd. <laughs> Everything is level and plumb as best he can make it. Looks like it could go uphill a little bit. We gotta unpleat it. Hold on. Went down. I know, just a little bit. A little more. Okay, right there, pleat it. it. Says it's uphill. Yeah, they can take Todd's level from his cold, dead hands. The well, we'll look at it and see what it looks like. Well, I know it's too much because this leg is too hot. See how much that rocks right there? It's not very much. I think a good glob of 4200 would be fantastic. <laughs> I really, really don't want to have to fiberglass globs onto the back of this boat. The problem with fiberglassing a glob onto the back of the boat is that that changes all of these angles that we've been looking at. So it's just... Well, we're going to change it a little bit. This is going up a quarter of an inch because we got a glob to put right there too. Remember? Okay, it's high tide. So we have like an hour to drill the holes in the back of the boat and then push the boat back out away from the seawall. Otherwise, we will be sitting on our rudder. Alright, so what do we have to figure out on the outsides? Any chance at all that you can raise this up a fuzz without Moving dropping it. Without dropping it? Without letting it drop down lower. Well, I can try. Okay, I might put my foot on this one. All right, this is going to take both hands, so. It moves so much every time you touch it. Yeah, I know. It's like one side is high and the other side is low. By how much? I don't know. It says it's high. Which I'd rather have it be a little high than a little low. This one seems low. So that because corner we're, has to go up. Because we're running a little bit, I think, nose down. So when we balance the boat out, you know, if it's already being downhill, I balance the boat out, it's even more downhill. So, inch and a quarter there. About an inch and a half over there. Only an inch over here. That looks pretty good so right there. So should you outline the things? Yeah, I'll draw around them. Put my foot on this? Yes. You got it? Yep. Drilling holes in the boat. Alright, so what am I doing? Lower the halyard so I can move the rail, stern rail. Forward legs of the arch have to thread through the stern rails to fit properly. This meant a lot of extra finagling to mark where we have to install the fiberglass pads, like you saw in last week's video, and have everything bolt down securely. Okay. What we need to do, maybe we just need to pull this forward. Lay it on lay the deck? It down on the deck here. So it's got to go up? No, we got to pick it up by hand. Why? If I pick it up, it'll just... Hey, pick it up by hand. 
There's no arguing with Todd. <laughs> I need two hands. That means put the camera down. This is why you miss so much good stuff. Let me see if I can put you roof? somewhere. <laughs> So what do you think of this kit? So far? I think it's awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Even though it's like the way you have to customize it? We didn't have to customize it very much. And we only customized it because we were putting one side on the deck and one side off the deck. Oh, for our solar. Well, yeah. Had they all four been on the deck, we'd have just bolted it onto the deck, okay. right? So. It just seems like it was like really complicated to figure out exactly where everything needed to be. Well, because we had a custom situation with that weird angle here and here, you know, to deal with is why. So, as far as We'd had to pay somebody to do this. It would cost oh, us yeah. a fortune. Oh, yeah. It cost us a fortune. And, and who they, knows what we'd have got. <laughs> right? We'd probably ended up like solely honest and had nothing in the end. So, what do you think the chances are we can just leave this here tonight? That won't get stolen. <sighs> out of sight, out of mind. Flip it around and chain it for the mask with everything else so that it looks obvious that it's chained. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wrap this a little tighter. Put that together. So. Yeah, we came today and something weird had happened. Somebody had been messing with our dock lines and one of them was completely undone and two of them were um, tied wrong. Like they tried to put them back together and they didn't know how. So yeah, it was kind of kind of a hard thing to be on a public seawall like this. But you know, it's all about that moolah. As soon as we can get out of here and go somewhere else, we will. But this is the- I'm gonna sleep on the boat tonight. With it being this hot, you wanna do that? What did you just say? Says maybe one of us ought to come sleep on the boat tonight. I mean, somebody undoing the lines. We loosen up your halyard because. Tight still? Yeah. All right. So I need to take today the foot and the foot mount here. And I gotta drill holes you know, to match where those are, where I had to cut it to fit the bottom of the extension. And also because the feet on the boat are rotated off center from where the old holes were. So I gotta re-drill those holes. So, dang, that's too high. Let's see if they'll go in anyway here. That one fits. That one will go in quite as easy, but it'll go. I think on the next one, I'm gonna go down to like 15 sixteenths. All right, now I gotta re-drill the feet right here. Uh, these holes here need to have a 5 sixteenths diameter mounting instead of the quarter, just to give it a little more strength. So I'm gonna drill those out with the drill press too.
inside. Okay. This one and we'll work our way around the we spared you all of the gory details of gluing down the quarter-inch fiberglass pads with thickened epoxy and painting all of the patched surfaces on the deck. If you'd like more details, you can check out last week's video where we cover all of that stuff. Stretched up the feet on here. Yep. Come over. Dry fitting yesterday with me moving around on this. These attachments have all had backing plates to ensure a strong hold, and we'll be adding additional supports and stiffeners to the arch in a future episode. Okay, pause. Wait. Move forward like this. Okay, so now you're gonna have to go lower the halyard a little bit if I can. Okay, hold it. Come down a little bit. All right, hold on. Come down a little bit. All right, hold that pose. Down a little bit. Okay. More. Keep going. Todd's rocking his sweatband, and I finally dug out a hat to keep the sun out of my face. We set this stern rail in place to be through bolted on another day. And tightened all the aluminum bolts by hand, as specified by Fish on Sports. I think it looks amazing. Now we just have to figure out how we're going to reach the top of this thing to install the solar panels. But that's a challenge for another day. If you'd really like to help us out, give this a like, share it with your friends, and leave a comment. Thanks!